Hello students. In the last class, we discussed about the centrifugation and what are the uh, um, centrifugal field and what is the relative centrifugal field. Uh, we discussed that in the last class. Today we discuss some of the more terms we have not discussed yesterday in, uh, related to the centrifugation. So we have also continue with the centrifugation will be continued. Today we will discuss some of the terms used in the centrifugation that is the rate of centrifugation and coefficient force of friction buoyant force okay? the rate of sedimentation depends upon the velocity of the particle of that particle okay? which is undergoing centrifugation and the rate of sedimentation depends upon the certain factor like it is directly proportional to the density of the particle that means if the density of the particle is more then the force of uh, rate of sedimentation will be more okay similarly size of the particle if the size of the particle increases relatively the force rate of sedimentation will also increase Directly proportional means that if one factor increases, the relative factor also increases. That means the rate of sedimentation increases when the density of the particle is increased. Similarly, if the size of the particle is increased, the rate of sedimentation will also increase. Okay? Similarly, the rate of sedimentation will definitely be directly proportional to the centrifugal force because it is the centrifugal field or centrifugal force and that is uh, applied in the uh, the centrifugation for the separation of the so centrifugal force is product of the mass of the particle and the applied centrifugal field that means ki in omega square r but it is opposed by the coefficient of friction. The rate of sedimentation is inversely proportional to the coefficient of friction of the medium. The force, the frictional force, okay? that is the frictional uh, coefficient is the relative term. Okay? The coefficient of friction, when coefficient of friction increases, the rate of sedimentation will decrease. Okay. Similarly, this rate of sedimentation, one of the factors is force of friction, coefficient of friction, and coefficient of friction is related to the force of friction. Okay. The force of friction is the friction force applied between the two uh, medium of particles, okay, which opposes the movement of these two particles against each other. That is the frictional force. So that means that if the particle is moving downward, the frictional force will uh, apply upward, will be acting upon the particle against the direction of the movement of the particle. So if the particle is moving in, the, in, in this direction, the force of friction will act in this direction. Okay, so this will uh, oppose the rate of sedimentation. So there are two forces which opposes the force of filtration, uh, sedimentation, one is for force of friction and another one is buoyant force. Okay, that is the force, force which is, uh, that is the force of buoyancy, the buoyant force, okay. The force of friction, it is explained over here, that, is, that means that it acts against the sedimentation. It opposes the sedimentation, or opposes the rate of sedimentation, okay. And force of friction is the product of velocity of the particle and the coefficient of friction. Okay? Coefficient of friction is directly proportional to the size of the particle and the shape of the particle. 
ठीक है है ना इधर साइज इंक्रीजेस द फ्रिक्शनल कॉफिशन फिलोसफ इंक्रीजेस एंड इन द शेप द पार्टिकल हैविंग मोर एस्पेरिकल शेप विल एक्सपीरियंस लेस कॉफिशन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके बोथ शेप एंड साइज ऑफ द पार्टिकल प्लेस इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन जनरेशन ऑफ कॉफिशन वन फोर्स दैट इज द रियल विच अपोजेस द सेगमेंटेशन एंड अनदर वन इज पॉइंट फोर्स ठीक है पॉइंट फोर्स इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एमओ एमिगा एमिगा स्क्वायर आर वेयर एम नॉट इज द मास ऑफ द डिस्प्लेस्ड सॉल्वेंट दैट इज एक्सप्लेन इन द Archimedes principle that is the point point C force of one. Okay, so this point force is equal to m not omega s bar. R R m not is equal to m which is the mass of the particle. Rho this is the density of the particle and the v bar. V bar is the volume of Each gram of particle in the, which is occupied by the particle in the solvent. Okay. Each gram of particle, if all, all the particle is very small, it is uh, in negative. Then, yeah. so then, then this is the volume of the. Each gram of particle, which occupies the medium, okay. Only then we can calculate the mass of the displaced solvent, okay. So this is the value of m not one zero. Then if these point force opposes the Uh, sedimentation or opposes the centrifugal force, then the there there will be a net force which will be uh, centrifugal force minus the bottom force. That means that this is the net force which is uh, applied, which is uh, experienced by the particle during the sedimentation. Okay, and this net force means. The centrifugal force minus the point force. Take okay. that. The centrifugal force is m omega s bar r, and the point force is m v bar o omega s bar r. Here, this is common in both this and this. So we can take the common. Ultimately, the net force applied for sedimentation is m omega s bar r. And bracket one minus v bar rho. So this is the formula for net force applied on the particle during sedimentation. Okay. At a steady state, when the net force and the force of friction equals each other, the particle moves with a small velocity v. So that means if This force of friction and the net force equals each other. The only then the particle moves with a uniform velocity. Force of friction, this is, and the net force is this. That means a V is equal to m m omega square r one minus v bar rho by a. This is the another equation. For determining the velocity, uniform velocity of the particle moving downward during sedimentation. Another case we use often use in uh, zoology the term that is the sedimentation coefficient is this is the unit. This sedimentation coefficient is. Equal to v by g, where v is the velocity and the g is the gravitational field. Okay, and 
that means the v putting the value of v that is the value of the v and the this is the value of the g that means the s is equal to n omega square r 1 minus v bar rho by f this is the value of v into value of gravitational field that is the omega square r so this this will be and ultimately the steady the formula which comes out for sediment coefficient for the sedimentation coefficient is in 1 minus v bar rho by this is the formula used for determining the sedimentation coefficient where m is the mass of the particle and v bar is the volume of each gram of the particle which occupies the um, solvent okay and uh, this is the density of the particle so the density of the solvent okay and this is the if that is the pressure coefficient okay that means it is m multiply of 1 minus v bar rho v is the volume of the each gram of particle this is the each gram this is h gram of the particle in the solvent and this is the density of the solvent okay this equals the mass of the displaced solvent okay so this these are the terms we often use in centrifugation okay hope you have understood the terms in the next class we will start the type of centrifugation okay thank you very much